Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our BMW 335 M Sport Shadow Edition Touring with the Auto ZF gearbox. The car is finished in mineral grey metallic. The car's covered 33,530 miles from memory with uh, full service history. And uh, we're going to take you around the car and show you all of the paintwork on the outside, the interior, and some of the spec on the car. Now, this car was registered in uh, June 2019, and then the last keeper had it in the October. So I believe this was a demonstrator, possibly, because um, it was only registered for a few months at uh, the start. So it's showing us two keepers in total, so one former keeper, but we believe that was the BMW supplying dealer. Okay, so let's come in at the front. Now the Shadow Edition benefits from some really nice black gloss grills at the front. And if we look over onto the wing mirrors, you'll see that they're black gloss as well. Let's bring you in on those, there we go. We've got the lovely LED lights and the lenses on the front of these headlights are in really nice condition as you can see. On the front bumper, there are some very, very minor, tiny little like, dotty little chips, a couple of them. But as you can see, nothing. I'll try and come in, get this in focus. Oh, it's hardly anything as you can see. It's so minor. So we just come round the front here. And show you this side as well again the headlight lens and the reason i'm pointing that out is sometimes they can be quite pitted depending where people live if they're traveling on a lot of country roads they can get quite sort of um, chipped on the front there and another area to check is this front it's actually part of the front bumper but there's very minor they're really small I'll come back out, it almost disappears. In fact, I think that's just where we've put a little bit of touch up on there, it's catching the light. And if you come up onto the bonnet, there's very minimal chipping, you know, for a car that's been on the road. Okay, so there's a couple of little bits there which we've touched in, so they're just catching the light from above and they'll be repolished over. So very minor, if I come out, look, you can see how close I was panning in there. But the shine that we've got on the bonnet is beautiful. There's nothing up at the back of the bonnet here or further back on the bonnet. All in really nice condition. You're always gonna get a couple of little minor little chips at the front. It's not brand new, of course. Now we've got the 704M alloy wheels with the M Sport brakes in orbit grey and diamond cut, all in lovely condition. In fact, I'll show you the rear wheel as well. We'll do both wheels on this side. No damage on there. And then if I just come back out, I'll show you the side of the car. And then we're gonna do panel by panel to show you the condition of the paintwork. Looking really nice. We've got the sun protection glass and on the uh, Shadow Edition, you also get smoked rear light lenses. So they're not quite as red on the actual lens itself. They're slightly darker. If you see the bit that isn't lit, you can see that it's not as red. I think while we're here, we're gonna come up onto the roof and the back section here, the spoiler bit, if you wanna call it that. And if we move forward, See, there's no bird dropping stains or it's not been in anything left on the paintwork that's eaten into the paint or anything. It's in really nice condition. And all of the black gloss trim has all been machine polished. The guys spend, you know, two people on one car for a whole day to make them look as nice as this and bring the paintwork in sometimes the video doesn't really show you how good the car is in the flesh. I'm going to try and show you just how 
nice that is. If you look down the side, there's no ripples. It's not had any paint work down there. Come round to the door handles. We open up the car. You can see the LED light underneath there. The door edge. Let's get this in focus. Sorry about that. There we go. All the door edge. Lovely condition. Nothing on this panel. It's like a mirror, <laughs> as you can see. And again, this panel, the rear door, and then coming back to the rear quarter, come down to the back bumper. There's a couple of little chips, very minor, I'm gonna point out in a minute, being completely trying. So one is a little bit there. Let's try and get that in better focus. There we go, very minor. I think there's one just here which is sort of highlighted at the moment because we've put some color in it this morning and then we're going to put some lacquer on it afterwards all of the rest of the tailgate and all of the light lenses have been machine polished basically when people wash their cars with sponges and stuff they don't always rinse them properly and so what they end up doing is washing all of the dirt and the sand that gets on the cars around and it sort of acts like a sandpaper and you get all these swirly scratches and sometimes when the people bring in their part exchanges they think they're really shiny when they're outside but as soon as you bring them in under these really intense lights you can see how scratchy they are so once we've machine polished, this is the lovely finish that you're getting on the car. And that rear wheel, that's all in lovely condition. You can see that the brake discs have got plenty on them as well. We'll just open up the filler cap here. There's no scratches. We've got the Ad Blue as well. So the Ad Blue basically splits the knocks into nitrogen and oxygen instead of nitrous oxide, I think it's called, which is a lot healthier. Just check this panel. So no scratches around there. Let's bring you down so you can see down the side of the car. Now, if this car had had any sort of accident damage or anything like that, you wouldn't get a reflection like that because no matter how well it's repaired, you're you'll always get something that's a bit wavy or something, like a ripple, almost like the sand on the beach when the tide's gone out. All of the black gloss, again, all been machine polished. And all of the wing mirrors, I know we didn't show the other one on the other side, but it is immaculate like that one. So just coming back out. So it's a really nice color combination, this car. It's got the Oyster interior. So we'll come around to the passenger side to start. And it's a really nice contrast to say, because if it's all black, it's sort of, it's a bit of a dull place to be really, but it really lifts the interior, but you've got the benefit of the black on the bottom of the door, so as your feet, if they were to touch, you know, you're not getting mud onto a cream surface. And of course, all the carpets inside. And then uh, also importantly, the top of the dash is black, otherwise you'd get a lot of reflection onto the windscreen. So we've got the Harman Kardon sound system, which gives you 16 speakers in all. We've got two there in the door card. There are more seat, uh, sorry, seats. There are more speakers under the seats there. And up in front of the professional media, there's another big speaker up on the top there. So really nice sound system. If we take a look at the door card, I'm just sort of having a good look round. There's no damage. There's no damage on the edges, not had any seat belts jammed. In between the door, we've got the puddle lights underneath there as well. 
If you look at the seal, everything has been machine polished, even these seals in here. So when you're spending your hard earned money, we want to basically give you the car in the best condition that it can be. Obviously it is a second hand car, but we just like to try and do the best that we can. So the little rocker button at the front there, that inflates the bolsters either side. And you've got the contrasting stitching on the seats. The front of the seat pulls forward as well to give you extra support under your legs. If we come all the way up, the headrest you can pull forward and then to release is a button on the side of the headrest there. Center armrest, which we'll just see. Yeah, that is sliding. So that slides backwards and forwards, which is quite handy for a long run. The professional eye drive wheel, excuse me, knocking this all over the show. This you can write your finger on the top. There's one little scratch just there, very minor. But other than that, everything else is really clean. We've got uh, steering wheel heating as well, while I can see it on the side of the steering wheel there. Let's see if I can, there we go. Let's take a look in the back. We'll work our way around the car. So the back door card again, yeah, the speakers are all there. Very, very minor, tiny little mark there. Other than that, all really nice. And the door shuts, again, no damage. All of the rubbers. And then the backs of the front seats as well. Because sometimes being in a state when the seats are down, people can uh, have stuff that slides forward and damage that, but all in lovely condition. If we zoom in, no damage on there at all. And then the lever in the rear as well, we've got the Isofix there, split folding seats, the center armrest folds down, uh, sorry, the center headrest folds down as well to give you a better view out the back when there's no one in the rear of the car. So we can open the boot up with the key. And we've got extended storage, which gives you um, the little 12 volt socket on the side there. Little elasticated section to hold stuff there. And then under here, we've got the locking wheel nut. And also we've got two, um, You've got the uh, parcel shelf, if you like, adjustable one here. And then you've got the dog guard there. So this one, you can actually store down in here. There we go, that's better. And then we've got the button for the tailgate just at the top here. Get that in focus, there we go. And it's not got any nasty dig marks up here as well. And that's where you'll find the triangle in that section there. So we'll press the button, put the boot down. Make our way around to the offside rear door. So no damage on there. No, nothing. And then the door shut. Yep, no, nothing there at all. All of the rubbers, as you can see, around the seal. You know, occasionally, for whatever reason, these can get torn. Maybe something being put in the back of the car. And like I say, this is where, you know, if you get a seat belt, and it gets jammed in the door. You can get dents and scratches here, but this one's all lovely and clean. Back of the seats again. And the lever. Let me 
we go. Okay, so the driver's side uh, front door, door edge. No nasties on there, no scratches around the handle. I'll flip these lights off for a second. Door card, no damage on there. No, just having a good look round. Nothing on the edge. All nice and clean all the way round. And then again, all the way round. And then we just take a look at the driver's seat while we're here, because this is the one that gets obviously most of the use. And then just a quick look inside before I jump in. And then the steering wheel, again, all the levers in nice condition, not got any wear or scratches or anything. You'd be surprised how many people have their keys in their hand when they're grabbing hold of the steering wheel and they sort of put scars, if you like, onto the lever, but it's all lovely there. And this is uh, also part of the extended storage, this little cubby hole here, which uh, doesn't look like much, but quite handy. Front and rear fog lights. Okay, I think the guys have uh, thought I was a bit smaller than I actually am, but uh, I'm going to put the seat back a bit. So I think what we'll do, we'll start the car up. Put the lights on auto, so give us a bit. Uh, no, let's put them on manual. There we go. There's a 33530. I'm going to take the handbrake off for a second. And we also got speed limiter here, which you can use to stop the car from going over a certain speed. And with the roller button, which is there, you can adjust the speed. Turn the speed limiter off. The button below is the cruise control which we can't operate because we're not moving along, so we'll turn that off, but you can see it's all come up. We've got uh, auto lights, fog lights all there. We've got anti-dazzle folding mirrors. Now these will work when you want to lock the car, if you press and hold the lock, now, depending which side you leave, the left and right selector switch, this one here, if we put it into reverse, so we've left it on the left-hand side. If I put the car into reverse, the wing mirror hasn't dropped down. If we put it to the right-hand side, you'll see it dips to the curb. So you can have curb dipping on or off, depending what side you leave it. If I flip it the other way, you see the mirror adjust back up. While we've got it in reverse, we've got the rear view camera. If we move the iDrive wheel over to the left, we can put the parking lines and the obstacle markers on. You can adjust the brightness in there, etc. And then when you move the steering wheel, you can see that it will show you exactly where you're going to be going and the red lines are the maximum turn. I'm going to turn that off for a second to put it back in park. Um, the iDrive wheel, uh, sorry not the iDrive, the sat-nav system is the touchscreen one, the later one. You can move all these tiles as we call them into different positions like so. We go into the navigation. In fact, I'll use the iDrive wheel to keep my hand out of the way. If we go over to the left, we've got all the sub menus. So route guidance, route, spoken instructions, traffic information. So how, you know, traffic jams, etc., in there. And uh, additional information, you can change uh, traffic events on or off, satellite image 
you can change the, the type of map view. You'll see that in a minute when I zoom out. In here, you've got direction of travel. Now we've got it in direction of travel, sort of looking straight down. Now using the shortcut buttons, you can memorize some of these screens as I point out in all the videos, but you might not have watched the other ones. So for the purpose of this, we'll do it again. Perspective is the view looking forward. If you run your finger on those buttons, we'll save that on number eight. You can also save telephone numbers on there and uh, you can save your DAB channels, but to be fair, the DAB channels are quite easy to flick through. They're in alphabetical order. So I never bother with that, to be honest with you. Use them for other shortcuts. If we go for address input, we can use either voice input or using the iDrive wheel down here, we can write with our finger Now to do a space from left over to right. Space. Five. R. Y. Perfect. And then just press down and then it's got our address in there. So that all works lovely. Okay, so what else? The media. We've got the 80 gig hard drive, which is the music collection. This has got the rest of the online entertainment by the looks of it left in there which is a subscription previous owner's phone or oh, we didn't take that out so let's do that very easy to delete phones in here just flip over to the side here delete device looks like he's had a phone upgrade delete device there you go and then just press down to connect and it's very straightforward from there sound system we've got the Harman Kardon so we've got a graphic equalizer you can play about with if you wish and that turns the logic 7 surround sound on and off okay I don't want to bore you too much in here so we're just gonna communication connective drive this is a where you can subscribe to some of the features that BMW have on their connective drive services and then here you'll see, for example, if we go into this one, lighting, you can adjust the interior lighting. It's always on sport, we'll put it in classic. Because the classic will show you that orange glow underneath, which shows up a lot more, I think. And underneath the doors there as well. And it will be in the handle, I think. Well, I'm pretty sure it's on the handle, but it's definitely underneath the door there. So we'll come out of there. Uh, speed warning, vehicle tracking. The next one is we can adjust all your displays. Um, Unix, for example. What we're in powers in kilowatts, you can change that to horsepower. Torque, we'll put in pounds per foot. Come out of there, come out again. Contents of the main menu, you can adjust. Uh, Driver profiles, never used to use this, but you know what? It's quite handy because um, it memorizes all of your radio stations, your electric wing mirrors, etc. Um, so it's quite handy and you just click down in here. Uh, make sure you've only got one key in the car at a time because you won't know which key you're doing otherwise. And then uh, change driver and then you can just put in here the name that you want be it your own name or a nickname or whatever. Ooh. Oh, we're going the wrong way, there we go. We'll just put prestige in there just to show. Oh, we've got too many. Oh God, what am I doing? Go back one, there we go, right. It's because I'm looking at the camera and not looking at the actual unit, there you go, and then we've saved the name. You get the gist of it. Let's full move stop. on. Oh, full spot. Okay. So we we'll come out of there. Uh, let's go back in. Sorry, I wanted to show you owner's handbook. Everything in the owner's handbook on the cars, on the BMWs specifically, is what's actually fitted on the car. Whereas it's different with some of the other uh, manufacturers. They list everything, but it might not necessarily be on the car. So that's tire pressures oil level now you add blue so this has got another 7,000 miles uh, refill it would take five and a half liters 
don't fill it up wait till it goes low because that blue basically has a bit of a life expectancy so you're better to run it all the way down and then just fill it back up you don't want to sort of mix fresh stuff with the older stuff just run it down to I think it, there's a warning that comes on when it's a few hundred miles and then fill it up then so vehicle control check servicing so front pads 10,000 miles engine oil 14,000 miles all November 2023 rear pads 16,000 brake fluid 2023 November so that's all well up to date and that was the oil and microfilter change and then it's had a big service including the brake fluid fuel filter so everything has been done on that last service in November at 27 so it's got some way to go they're 19,000 miles or two years on the um, oil just want to show you down here all in here how lovely and clean it is non-smoker heated seats both sides dual climate and then we've got the steering wheel heating on the side here which is nice and then this button here on the end let's see if I can come around this way actually this is not going to come on because it's too light in the showroom but that's for your high beam assist so basically there's a camera just up here and it measures the light in front now basically uh, on a country road you would use that with probably the best place to use it or on the motorway and it will bring up the main beam and when you drive into a lit up area or a car's headlights come towards you it will automatically dip the lights for you just wanted to show you all around here this is for the parking sensors as well and then you have the drive mode button just here try and get that into so eco pro this is a setting that will make the throttle feel less responsive but give you much better fuel economy you can see it's got 92 percent here if we reduce the speed it's basically going to tell you how efficient you are at a given speed with the way things are set up so that's changed to 97 percent coasting so basically when you come off the throttle the car won't use any engine braking it will just roll so you can basically come off of the throttle a lot earlier as you coast up to a junction and uh you know get the benefit of uh of that and uh if I show you over here in the blue there it will show you how many extra miles to the gallon you're going to get if you're driving in that mode comfort is the balance setting and then you've got your sport and sport plus which basically will um, make everything more responsive on the throttle and the sport plus will turn off part of the traction control you can also see let's just make sure I've not got it in gear this is your power that we change into horsepower and pounds per foot. So it's come out of there. So I think we've pretty much covered enough in here. Um, let's just open up. Got auto wipers, etc. Put that handbrake back on. Oh, the rear camera, we did that, didn't we? Yeah. So we're going to pull the bonnet twice. and then we can just lift it. So this is the twin power turbo. Now on the 335s, they are actually two turbos, a smaller turbo and a larger turbo. So the smaller one will spin up at lower exhaust gas pressure. And then the bigger turbo will come in after that. They're rated at 315 PS, so around about 310 brake horsepower. With a Celtic remap, they go to about 400 brake horsepower. And I think it's like 575 pounds per foot of torque or something. It's a huge amount. And driven an Eco Pro, driven carefully, you'll get anywhere between 46 and 50 to the gallon. You know, depending if it's a windy day maybe or something like that, but really good economy. All of the engine bay is cleaned by hand any leaves are hoovered out 
from under here, these trays are taken off. And here the engine running nice and smoothly. And we use a lot of WD-40, as I say in all of the videos. So we try and clean these as safely as possible. It's very bright in the showroom today, so I'm struggling a little bit with the light. There you go, all really nice and, there we go, that's better. Okay, so I think we've pretty much covered that. So I'll close that down. When you want to close your bonnet, just bring it down to about here, I'll just show you, and just drop it. What you don't want to be doing is putting your hands on the bonnet and pushing down because the bonnets are double skinned and you'll end up putting a dent in the bonnet basically and they're sometimes quite difficult to get out. So just drop it to about 12 inches and let it fall naturally into its space. Well thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I know it's quite long but we try and be as transparent and give you a really good impression of the cars if you were here with us in the showroom. So thanks for that. And uh, we have some fantastic warranty packages. You can take extended warranties up to four years now. They cover everything um, from sat-nav inside uh, to even oil and fluid leaks, DPF filters, catalytic converters, very, very uh, comprehensive warranties that we can offer. And we can also offer you finance, PCP, higher purchase, and beast purchase okay thanks for watching hope to speak to you soon take care now bye